Hey there, we're doing a quick awareness video just to let people know about carabiners. We have a lot of people asking, what kind of carabiner do I need for this particular task? There's loads out there, a plethora of different designs. So uh, we thought we'd just show you some simple ones. Uh, this is an oval carabiner. Uh, this is a really standard bit of kit. It, it's uh, symmetrical basically, uh, which means that equipment's gonna hang in line. And for things like pulleys and that kind of thing, it can work quite well because they'll sit quite equally on it. Other designs of carabiners might not might not work as well for that kind of thing but this is a kind of standard connector we'll chat about the gates in a moment uh, this is a d-shaped carabiner and the, one of the advantages of this is that uh, everything will hang more in line so you'll see that when it gets pulled there the load will actually tend to uh, move towards the spine here which is naturally the stronger section than the gate so that's a d-shaped carabiner uh, You've got this kind of pear-shaped or HMS carabiner, you'll hear different people referring to it uh, in different ways. Uh, advantages of this, well, the, the, for us in industry, uh, a big advantage is that you've got a lot more space to get things in there. Uh, you can fasten multiple items on it, uh, a bit more space there for things to fit, and also bulkier things that might, might need to go on there, like rescue devices and that kind of thing might fit a little bit better. When I say multiple things, we'd still always look to pull them in just in one direction, so we don't want it to be triple loaded, pulling this way and this way and that way, anything like that, that'll weaken the carabiner significantly, but uh, that's another kind you might come across. Uh, just thought I'd show you this as well, this is a, a twist lock carabiner, it just takes a twist and an opening, that's not something that's normally used for any kind of uh, safety critical applications, but sometimes you'll see this kind of design of opening used on uh, rescue kits or sometimes on adjustable lanyards, just for things that are quickly fastened on and off, it doesn't take very much to open that at all, so that's a twist lock carabiner, just kind of two actions. Uh, in contrast to that, you've got the triple lock carabiner here, which is up, twist, and open it. So that gives an extra layer of security. A lot of places are moving towards those now. Uh, you still need to, as a user, check that it's actually closed, but there is that natural closing mechanism, uh, so that even if uh, people aren't thinking as much as they should be, uh, then it's more likely to close itself. Uh, and then your standard kind of screw gate carabiner here, which requires somebody to actually manually fasten it up. These are great, very reliable, better for kind of dirty environments and that kind of thing where these other kind of uh, twist lock mechanisms might get jammed up. Uh, but obviously that does require somebody to make sure they fasten it the right way and then also check across the back that it's fastened properly.